Greetings viewers, once again we've got Sony Digital Mavicas, and this video will be about the two in the back, the MVC FD83 on the right and the MVC FD88 on the left. The one in the middle is actually an MVC FD85. Now it's not the same one that I shot a video of however many years ago it was. That one stopped working, but it is that camera. Uh, there'll be a link somewhere to that video so you can watch that if you'd like to know more about this particular unit. But it is important to us, not because it's related to the 83 or the 88, but because, well, I'll just say it right now, the 88 is basically the chassis of the 83 with the logic and all the controls and stuff, and the uh, resolution and things like that of this 85. So I'm going to get this 85 out of the way. We'll focus on the 83 first and take some pictures and some video because they both actually shoot video. Okay, here is the Mavica MVC FD83, and it has its stickers intact, so we can see the one very, uh, interesting, whoops, and it is that, check out that, it is interpolated, but that's not what's so interesting, check out the image size there, 1216 by 912, that's a very odd resolution, you can see it's got 6x zoom, as well as the MPEG movie capability, you can see, very interestingly, I believe anyway, that it's got a tinted flash. It's more yellow, so more natural light. And right above that, of course, is the microphone. There's the lens. There's the shutter button. Another interesting thing about this camera, see, there's the floppy drive. It has a 4-speed floppy, or 4x, which means it's four times faster than a regular floppy drive. The other interesting thing about this is that it's got a, an AV output. It is not an input, but it is an AV out. It's a little 3.5mm connector. I believe it might be mono, just because this is only a monophonic microphone. There's another feature sticker right there. You can turn the LCD backlight on and off. And brightness and volume control. There is a built-in speaker right there. Brightness control is for the LCD panel, of course. It's got similar buttons if you've watched my MVC FD7375 video. I think the rest of the controls are pretty much the same. The disc control is a little bit different. It doesn't have the separate button. Rather, it's one integrated slide switch. But everything else is pretty much the same. And, of course, the boat switch is different because it's got the movie shooting mode. All right. So, let me get this thing ready to go. Okay, we got a battery installed, so we'll go ahead and we'll power it up. This one's already set up. So what we'll do is we will take the lens cap off. And you can see that's what it sees. Uh, I've hidden the menu display. You just push up on this D-pad and it comes back. You've got setup, use your beep, your clock settings, your language, and you can change your video out to NTSC or PAL. Use your exposure levels, flash level, again it's pretty similar to the other cameras. Use your white balance, indoor or outdoor. And it's got digital zoom, we'll just leave it off because digital zoom is worthless. There again, you've got voice, email, and normal. I don't think voice really does anything for stills, but it is there. Find standard quality. You have 1216 by 912 weird resolution, 1024 by 768, and 640 by 480. This one is set to series file numbers for some reason. And of course, it's got the disk copy in the format that the FD83 has. It's also got a macro mode and a self timer. So we'll grab a disc here, if I can find where I put the discs, right here. Take a disc, and try and insert it into the camera. It should be a blank disc. So it'll read it. And we can go ahead, and what we'll do first is we will take just a regular picture, 1216 max res at fine. We'll just go ahead 
push the button to uh, focus, and push it all the way in to take a picture. The flash is not going to go off. So we'll take our picture, and we'll go in and we'll change some record mode settings. We'll set it to email. Take a picture again. Just exactly the same picture. And I'm going to set it to voice and just see what it does. Come on. Let's see what it happens to do. I guess it is actually going to take a voice clip about five seconds long. Okay, well, change that back to normal. We'll change the quality to standard. Again, we'll take an identical picture. And we'll come in, set that back to fine. Take a picture at 1024 by 768. I mean, it's not really that much different. Might have to change my disk soon. You can see it flashing up in the corner there to indicate that we are running out of space and we should change our disk. You can't get a lot of photos onto a floppy, but I suppose it was convenient back in the day no proprietary memory modules or anything like that. Now the battery is starting to run dead. Uh, hopefully I don't have to replace that battery. Alright, so we'll go back to full resolution. And I'm not going to play with any of those, but we'll try the macro mode. Oh, I've got this Sony mini DV tape. Guess we can try that. Go ahead and get up nice and close to it. It is still in focus. The flash will go off for that. And that looks like a bunch of garbage. And now the disk is full. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll go into the playback mode and delete the picture that we just took because it's junk. Shift that over to play, and we'll hit delete, okay. So then it should go back to the last picture, which is that one. So we'll switch it back to still, I guess we'll try again. I think what I might do is I might just turn the, f turn the flash off. So that's this little button right here, just set that to no flash. And we'll try and take a picture again. Alright, that turned out much better. I do want a picture with the flash. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually change the battery and the uh, floppy disk on this. So I will be right back thanks to the magic of videotape. Okay, so I've done all that. The camera should be out of macro mode now as well. And what we'll do is we'll take two more pictures. Number one is I want one with the flash on. So I'm going to turn this off. It's light back here. Just make it a little darker. And I don't know if the flash is going to fire just like this. I kind of doubt it. No, it won't. So we'll force the flash on. Try and take a picture. So there's the flash. Looking at all the junk at the back of my workbench. The last thing we will do is we'll go in to the self timer, turn that on, and we will go ahead and take a picture with the self timer. In theory. Come on. And there we go. So you see the red light flashing? And I got the 
flash. I don't know if it needed the flash, but it had the flash. So, all right, that's it for the FD-83. Let's move on to the FD-88. I guess it is actually going to take the voice clip. Okay, I figure I might as well take a video. I almost forgot about that, but this is the MVC FD-83. You get 15 seconds. Okay, we're back with the MVC FD-88. Uh, as mentioned previously, it's the same design as the FD-83. Just the only difference is the image sensor is not interpolated. And if we go under image size, you can see we have 1280 by 960, as opposed to, what was it, 1216 by 912 or something? So we can go ahead and take some pictures here. I think this one, the image is a little bit darker. So we'll just take a, a standard picture at 1280 by 960. I'm not going to do very many with this, just because, like I said, it's the, it's the same general idea. So we'll take a picture. And we'll just come in, we'll change the quality to standard. Flash is really loud on this one. Go ahead, I'll we'll change that back to fine. I believe record mode, you get the same recording modes. It's probably exactly the same, pretty much. There's no other real differences. I'm going to zoom. I didn't test the zoom on any of the cameras yet. So, I mean, you can see maybe a rough idea. It's not going to be able to focus on that. But uh, we'll force the flash off. Actually, we'll check. What kind of picture effects do you get? Negative, sepia, black and white, solarized. Okay, so it's basically just like the uh, the other, what was it, the FD-73 and FD-75. So I'm going to force the flash off, and we'll just take a picture like that. See what it looks like. And then I'm going to switch this disc, and we'll go ahead and take some video, and that should be all. Okay, I should be able to get 15 seconds out of this, but it should be pretty much the same as the uh, FD-83. It's just I won't get cut off. Okay, the last thing I'm going to mention about these is with respect to video options. Uh, the only two options you really get, uh, you can choose to take 5 second, 10 second, or 15 second clips. And resolution wise, you get 320 by 240, or 160 by 120, I believe it is. Maybe it's 112. I'm pretty sure it's 160 by 120, though. But either way, that's pretty much it for the Mavica MVC FD-83 and FD-88. So, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off, and I hope to see you next time. Till then.